Hi, I'm Chris Chance of Fat City Cycles and Fat Chance Bicycles. It's been really great to uh, reconnect with people. I went to the hand-built bike show when it was in Sacramento a couple years ago, and it was like a homecoming. It was, it was so fabulous just to see all these people. Say, Where have you been? You were lost. I said, I wasn't lost. I just wasn't in bikes anymore. <laughs> Leaving the bike business, it had been since 1974, and this is like very end of the 90s. It had been a long run in bikes, and it had been total immersion. You know, everything I did was about bikes, it felt like. All my friends were into bikes. That's what I did on the weekends, and, and the business, and um, just working all the time. And uh, so I just wanted to do something different. And so I did. My mid, later teenage years, I started getting pretty excited about how much fun it is to ride a bike and go fast and cut school and go out and ride my bike and started racing after high school and, and got pretty into that. Got to be a category two racer. Got a job because I knew these guys from racing, Richard Sachs and Peter Weigel, two frame builders in the East Coast that are still at it. They were working at a shop called Whitcomb USA and worked with them for almost two years, learning how to build bikes and First, you know, starting out as a grunt and learning how to paint and then braze and do all the fit up and learned the real, the basics of building a, a bike there. Uh, wanted to move to Boston, just felt the call to move to a city. And Whitcomb USA went out of business and they were selling their old equipment. Something in me said, I have to do this. Whatever it takes to get that equipment and, and buy what I can from them. Three people that knew my work from that shop said, well, if you go into business, I'll buy a bike from you. So before I even knew I was going to be in business, I had three orders. We have a Yoetti here, what is this, 1990, considered by many of our fans to be the ultimate bike. We came out with this bike in 1989. It features our dome stays, typical identifier of a fat chance bike. It was into the non-tapering stays because it just gave a real good feel of how you can control the rear wheel with a bike, how the communication between the rear wheel and the pedals was. So you could feel where the bike is and what you need to do to control it, and it just uh, gave the bike a real predictability and, and really enhanced the performance. Our, our previous model was the Wicked Fat Chance, which was uh, considerably more comfortable than, uh, than the Yoetti. But with this bike, we went larger diameter tubes in the main triangle. One of the things that was a real important consideration for me in frame design is making sure that the low, I like to call it the chassis of the frame, that the lower tubes really provided the port and uh, energy transfer and kind of the stability of the whole bike. We were just going for all out performance. We wanted that bike to just be spot on in control and positive handling, which is just there's no gap between what you're telling the bike to do and what happens and what the bike tells you is going on and how you need to respond to that. We did a lot of details around this joint in the bike. The top tube comes in, wraps around as far as it does, and the seat stays come up and uh, the welds overlap there and we put in this gusset back here, which we finally call the Pizzuti gusset. And we have a relatively light wall and a seat tube there to, to save weight. And then we put a, a washer back here that just helps reinforce the bottom of the slot. There's a lot of details like that in designing a frame. It's where can you shave a little bit? And it may not make that much of a difference overall in a bike, but if you can do that four or five times in a bike, then you're starting to get some weight gain. So you're always looking for those opportunities. I did my best to never have to put dents in stays, and uh, so we were able to keep the full diameter of the stay coming up to the bottom bracket and still give plenty of clearance here. Definitely uh, predates suspension. This version has the uh, inch and an eighth blades, really uh, quite a stiff fork, uh, but again, very positive control, and it was pretty unforgiving in terms of uh, hitting stuff on the trail. And with an increase in diameter, your stiffness increases fourfold. Yoetti lives again. I spent a long time uh, catching up on what all the changes are and have been since you know 15, 20 years ago when I was last designing mountain bikes, and a lot has changed. And one of the things actually that's that's been kind of fun is used to have to um, just imagine things in my mind and tweak them and refine them and. Uh, put pieces together and, and design a frame, you know, using spreadsheets and geometry and trigonometry and, and, um, and now I get to do it with a CAD system and, and model it in three dimensions and take a look at it from any angle and it's a much faster way to refine designs but it's really great when I can finally get in the shop and get my hands dirty and get, get my hands on some tubes and, and actually put it together. It's got a uh, head angle on it like we used to do back in the early days, and a bent seat tube, and chain stays only slightly longer than, than what we used to have for a, a Yoetti, and it's just as rugged and, and just as spot on in its handling and, and feedback, and lots of people are saying, well, it looks like a Yoetti, how does it handle? And, and uh, I can tell you, it handles great. And just as much love put into this as in, uh, in all the fat chances. There's just so much that's different. We gave up on the um, domes. May they rest in peace. They, they they served us so well for 
a couple of decades there and, and now we're just going uh, direct to the, to the dropout and learning to deal with 29-inch uh, wheels and, and keep the performance in. We, we did a, a survey last fall. We put up our website and we were asking people what they'd like to see from us. How would they like their next fat chance to be? And we got it very clearly. It's, it's split right down the middle. It's half and half, 27 fivers and uh, 29ers. They wanted steel. They wanted a new Yoetti. Uh, they wanted uh, trail geometry. So that's what we're working on. But it's fun for me to see these old bikes and I just remember you know, the tooling we used to make them and uh, all the people I was working with and you know, the customers we deliver them to and, and I'm still getting the, uh, the love letters for these old bikes now and it's pretty fabulous. I'm so grateful to have people still value them so much. Um, I've always cared about people and, and wanted to help them excel and, and do the best they can. Uh, Fat City is very well known for having other companies that start uh, from the employees there. Merlin would be an example. And we really wanted to stay in touch with our customers. We had a t-shirt that said, ride us and write us. We want to hear from you. I feel really, really fortunate to have so many people welcoming me back into the business. And I'm so grateful for that. So very grateful. It's just really wonderful to be recognized. You know, I just went to work and threw myself into it with all my passion and all my wits and skills and all I had. And, and uh, to be appreciated for that for so many years later, it just feels so good. It's so great to get up in the morning and know that I get to build bikes again. It really is good.